Transformation, an interesting yet puzzling term. Oftentimes, we promise to change our old ways and become a new person, maybe as a New Year's resolution or when we want to start a new chapter of our lives. But what does it mean to truly transform yourself? Many people have no idea how deep the word transformation goes. It's not just simply changing your lifestyle, but also changing the way you think, feel, relate with others, and interact with the world around you. As we're about to enter the year 2024, it is important to transform yourself into a better, more capable version of yourself. So how do you accomplish this feat? Well, thanks to the teaching of Stoicism, we now have a guide to help transform us into more capable people. The teachings of the ancient Stoics provide a framework on which we can build our lives on. Today, we're going to explore a detailed guide on how to become a Stoic in 2024. Before we dive into detail, take a moment to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and turn on the notification bell to get alerted anytime we post amazing videos like this. Stoic philosophy has undergone a revival in recent years as countless people seek out enduring methods to achieve happiness and inner peace in a chaotic world. External factors like career success, wealth, reputation, and the actions of others often fail to bring lasting contentment and frequently lie beyond our control. The ancient Stoics realized that true happiness stems from self-mastery rather than mastery over externals. By focusing our efforts on our chosen values, judgments, and actions, we can cultivate an inner citadel of character that external factors cannot shake. Practicing Stoicism leads to increased personal responsibility, resilience, and, arguably, a happier way to live. The Stoics conceived that securing happiness from worldly things like wealth, status, pleasure, or other people inevitably leads to anxiety since we cannot control these externals. Seneca stated, There is no person that is happy if they attach themselves to these changeable and fragile things. Pleasure is fleeting. Health deteriorates, reputation can turn on a dime, and people can be fickle. By contrast, true happiness comes from living wisely and virtuously every day. The Stoic idea of happiness is based on eudaimonia, which translates to flourishing and means making excellent use of our natural gifts of reason to live the best life within our power. For the Stoics, the divine gift bestowed exclusively on humankind is our faculty of impressions and judgment, that is, the ability to assess our perceptions and make considered choices. Thus, real happiness is living rationally by correct reasoning, ethical action, self-mastery, prudence, justice, and courage. Or, as Marcus Aurelius wrote, happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one principle. Some things are within our control, and some things are not. Happiness comes from focusing only on what we can control, our values, principles, self-discipline, perspectives, and actions. The founding fathers of Stoicism viewed happiness through several lenses. For Epictetus, happiness comes from accepting events calmly that lie beyond our control while focusing completely on what is within our power. He said, happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one principle. Some things are under our control, and some things are not. Thus, happiness is the feeling of empowerment in shaping our own character and actions. Marcus Aurelius believed happiness depends on our judgments and mental framing of external things. He wrote, If you are pained by any external thing, it is not this thing that disturbs you, but your own judgment about it. And it is in your power to wipe out this judgment now. Happiness comes from developing mastery over our faculties of perception, desire, and aversion. Seneca too stressed that happiness resides in our reasoned choices, saying, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future, not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have. For Seneca, moderation and contentment are key to happiness. To better understand the impact of Stoicism, we must first look back at its origins. Stoicism was founded by the ancient Greek philosopher Zeno. However, its teachings were popularized by Seneca, Epictetus, and the great Roman emperor Marcus Aurelius. 
These wise philosophers saw life as it was and laid the rules for what we now follow today as Stoicism. The ancient Stoics understood one universal truth, and that is happiness came from within, not outside. No one can make you happy but yourself. Your decisions, choices, inspirations, and how you see the world determine how fulfilling your life will be. So to really become happy and fulfilled in life, you must detach yourself from certain things. Becoming emotionally indifferent to things is key to diminishing anxiety over what we cannot control. It enhances mental clarity to focus completely on what we can control, our principles, perceptions, and actions. So how then do you detach yourself? How do you stop caring about the meaningless things in life? One, shift your focus to what you can control. To practice Stoicism is to narrow your attention and efforts onto what lies within your sphere of control. Your values, principles, self-discipline, perspectives, judgments, and actions. As Epictetus said, some things are up to us and some things are not up to us. Any external thing beyond your control, like reputation, wealth, or hardship, should not command your mental engagement. What fully deserves your concentration are the choices and actions you can take to uplift yourself and others in any situation. Realize this and you will find strength. Stoicism is about rechanneling your mental energy inward to develop self-mastery, wisdom, and virtue. By focusing ceaselessly on self-correction and prudent action, you can shape your character and conduct special power over external events, which you must accept with grace. This internal locus of control is the path to happiness and freedom. 2. Establish your limits. A critical aspect of practicing Stoicism involves clearly delineating what lies within your control versus what does not. As Epictetus advised his students, do not try to have everything in your power to control, but leave many things to the gods, focusing on those areas where you can demonstrate moral purpose. We must know our capacities intimately, both strengths and limitations. By narrowing our focus to our own reasoned choice, we conserve energy and avoid needless frustration. Even with careful preparation, we cannot guarantee others will act as we hope or outcomes will match our plans. But we can control upholding wisdom in designing the best possible decisions ourselves. Unexpected events are bound to disrupt our mental stability at times, but we can control our response by pausing to ask, what is required of me now? How can I practice patience, courage, and resourcefulness? Then you can focus your energy on playing your own part. 3. Take control of your emotions. Central to Stoic practice is recognizing that our emotions spring from our judgments, not directly from external events. When something bad happens, we add subjective interpretations that color our experience. As Epictetus said, what upsets people is not things themselves, but their judgments about the things. He goes on to say, people are disturbed not by events, but by the views they take of them. Since our emotions flow from our appraisal of things, Stoicism says we have power over them. We cannot prevent things from happening in the external world, but by carefully monitoring our self-talk and challenging irrational beliefs, we can alter emotions to be more positive and aligned. Or, be mindful of your mental investment in others. To become a true Stoic, you must learn to never over-invest mentally and emotionally in other people's lives. As Marcus Aurelius warned, be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. Their choices ultimately belong to them, so we should wish people well in their journeys while accepting that their fortunes are not fully within our control. We all desire security and stability in relationships. However, the Stoic recognizes the autonomy of others. People change, relationships evolve, and loved ones pass away. By maintaining sincere goodwill toward others while avoiding attachment to specific outcomes, we preserve our inner peace and resilience. View all relationships as precious gifts within the limits of the present, letting go of fears over losing them. 5. Acknowledge your accomplishments. Stoicism emphasizes self-compassion, positive self-talk, and acknowledging progress made. The Stoic philosopher Seneca encouraged giving ourselves credit for steps forward rather than getting discouraged over perceived shortcomings or comparisons to others. He wrote, 
Let us celebrate what we have achieved, rather than lament over what we have not. Before becoming a Stoic yourself, congratulate yourself for what you've learned through your own experiences so far. Tell yourself, I acted nobly when treated unfairly by retaining my compassion. Or, I made excellent use of reason today in a chaotic situation. Or, I chose to be responsible with my reactions rather than blame others. Catalog your progress to uplift energy and motivation. Seneca said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Therefore, happily acknowledge the person you are becoming, thanks to stoic practice without undue worry over some elusive end goal. How you travel matters more than the destination itself. 6. Learn to let go. Ultimately, letting go of external factors beyond our control is central to the Stoic's pursuit of tranquility. We construct our experiences according to our beliefs and interpretations of events. Suffering arises when we stubbornly resist what the universe presents rather than accept life's circumstances with grace. The practice of letting go requires mindfully releasing anxiety over past and future events not influenced by our will. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Recover your senses, call yourself back, and once again, wake up. Now that you realize I am present, don't despair over the time lost. In every moment, we have the opportunity to renew our commitment to aligning with nature by letting go of the unchangeable. Letting go feels challenging because it conflicts with our instinct to control outcomes. But in practice, letting go is an act of sage self-management to conserve our energy for what matters. Remind yourself that external things are transient by nature. People and conditions constantly change per the greater laws of the universe. Instead of vainly trying to cling to things as they are or redirect their course, practice acceptance of all that comes to pass. That way, you'll not be crushed when you eventually lose them. Conclusion Stoicism teaches truth, and the truth is the only way to find happiness and mental clarity. Stick to these principles, and you will transform your life into that of a Stoic this coming year. Remember, you are not weak, and you can accomplish anything you set out to. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get more amazing content. See you in the next video.